What's going on everybody? Corey Smith here, CoreFX, bringing you another weekly technical talk video. Today is actually Friday, September 14th, 2018. I'll uh, recap in the week we just had here at CoreFX and diving into the week ahead, next week's technical setups, what we got going on on the charts, what we got going on on all the Forex pairs, indexes, gold, oil, S&P 500. Uh, anybody new to these videos, we go ahead and dive into full-on technical analysis of the full Forex markets. A little bit of the correlations in the other markets with the S&P 500, oil, and gold. Um, go over all the indexes, each of the major currencies weighted average versus the other currencies. So the basket price of each individual currency versus the others. We have the dollar, euro, franc, Swiss, uh, Swiss franc, yen, pound, Aussie, New Zealand, um, Canadian dollar. So we go over all of them, then we go over the U.S. dollar, crosses every one of those pairs pinned up against the U.S. dollar, and then I dive into my watch list for the week. And I pick out the strong trending pairs that I will be watching for the week ahead, go over a little bit of trades that we took last week, and really just get an all-around technical view of the week we have coming up. We had a pretty strong fundamental week this past week, uh, a lot going on, not too much crazy movement in the FX markets, we're just getting back to the busy seasons here, so it uh, looks like things are taking a slower start to September, but um, we do have some potential setup coming up this week we do have a lot of news in the chart in the uh calendar again for this week ahead so um no further ado i'm gonna go ahead and dive into the charts here get into the technical breakdown of all these pairs show you guys what i got going on and what happened last week what's going on this week so thank you guys very much for tuning in new users and returning users alike i love you guys appreciate the support and i'll go ahead and dive into the charts catch you guys in there Alrighty, so diving into the charts here, starting with the U.S. dollar index, the Dixie. As you guys can see this week, we did have some weakness in the dollar. We did sell off and break below this 94.50 um, level we got here. Actually, sorry, we broke down to the 94.50. We broke through the 95 psychological support level here in this range we were breaking through. Um, as you guys can see on Wednesday, we broke lower. Thursday, we continued to push. And then today, Friday, we bounced. And we're getting what looks like a bullish engulfing bounce off this um, support here. So we got 94.50 acting as support now, as acted as support in the near future, in the year, near past as well. As you guys can see here, we're starting to see what could potentially be a double bottom. We could find support here on the dollar and now rally. Um, I'm definitely watching for if this 95 now holds as resistance and it rolls over. We are below the 50 SMA. We have broken and set a lower low, lower high. This now could push down to be another lower low, and this would be a pretty strong trend changing move. So um, we did break this lower trend line. We are starting to test this reversal here. Uh, we have a bullish engulfing, so we do have to be watching, like I said, potential of this being a double bottom and it rallying now. But um, all in all, we did break out of the range. We are bouncing back up to retest it. and nothing too certain here on the dollar so we're not really too biased with any one direction nothing too for sure that we're getting here we basically just want to um you know keep an eye on it watch what price action does and react from there if it breaks above this 95 uh resistance now maybe we can look for some long opportunities if it fails to break above it if this resistance now holds could be looking for shorts for the dollar for the coming weeks euro still trapped in this range we did move up to the top of the range again, and then as you can see today, we sold off again. Resistance staying strong. This upper trend line holding for the fourth bounce now. Uh, so we are still within this range. We broke out of it, broke back into it, and have been back in it now. So until this range is broken again, another thing here with the euro, we don't really have any too clear of a direction. So we have to really just wait and see what price is showing us. This could be a little bit of an inverse head and shoulders we've got here, right? We've got a basically a left shoulder here. We got a head down here and a right shoulder here. This could be the neckline. This could be breakout resistance. But either way, if it breaks either direction of this, this pattern, that will give me a much more clear direction. But for now, um, the euro is just in this range still. Something we just want to watch and play after we see reactions. Uh, yen has broken below this 85.50 support, as you guys can see here. Thursday, strong bullish, uh, bearish candle to break and close below this level here. And then as you can see today on Friday, we got more of an indecision doji type candle, spinning top, whatever you want to call it. Um, price is closing pretty close from where it opened, slightly lower. Um, the daily range isn't too wide. It hasn't moved too much today. It's been a pretty slow Friday, um, especially for the yen. So as you guys can see, we, we have broken close below this level, but again, a little bit of an indecision candle. I am certainly more bearish the yen though now, especially with this technical level being broken. So I will be looking for bearish yen uh, for the coming week ahead, but we'll have to wait and see what price action shows us. Pound, 
showing a little bit of a trend reversal here as you guys can see this lower low was set pulled back for this lower high we thought we could probably potentially hold this lower high and break lower but the yen did i mean the pound did continue to push higher this week um we are on a little bit of a resistance level here as you guys can see right on this 127 um we can adjust this counter trend line now um but we broke above the 50 sma we broke structure we're setting um, not anymore are we setting a lower high but we can now switch this to a higher high because price is breaking structure it is breaking up and above this level here we could throw some trend lines in as well to show that price is broken um, this trend line as well so uh, all in all we are looking at a reversal here in the pound we are looking for more strength returning to it so we want to keep an eye on potentially long pound in the next coming weeks as this has now showed us that it looks like it's reversing the downtrend Canadian dollar. Uh, this is another, we got a lot of really sloppy, indecisive price action going on right now. Um, this Canadian dollar broke out of this nice channel, broke lower, looked like it was in a beautiful place to shoot lower again, but it did actually bounce this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, strong bullish days, even gapped up um, Tuesday into Wednesday, pushed right back into this channel. So we're now back into the channel. We had this temporary breakout, price broke back up and in. We're back in the channel, above resistance. Um, so now we are really looking back at the point of view of uh, wait and see and see what the price action shows us. If it breaks above this 76, we could look for a pullback to get long. If it breaks back down below this 75.50 trend line support area here, we could be looking for shorts. But another pair here where we run just be, uh, you know, on the lookout for what price action does to show us which direction it's headed. Swiss franc did pretty much what we expected it to do. Broke out above this level. Pulled back, has been range bound, has bounced though each time it's come down to retest this 95.50 to 96 level down here. Uh, we did push back up. We are now underneath of 97, underneath resistance, after the strong trend reversal above the 200 SMA. So I do think we are bullish the Swiss franc now. I'll be looking for breaks up above this 97 resistance. But all in all, I do see more bullish price action out of the Swiss franc, and I will be looking long for the Swiss franc, at least for the near future. Australian dollar continues to... Uh, chop around right now but it the the bearishness seems like it's coming back we pushed down lower set a new lower low price pulled back up retested prior structure 20 sma 72 resistance and is now pushed back down off of it again so we are still bearish the aussie we are still looking to um find short opportunities and see if they're there uh we thought we were going to get a little more of a bounce off these lows here this week but um that bounce quickly faded thursday into friday we are back to the sell-off. So uh, we'll be looking for shorts here on the Aussie, but this could very easily quickly turn around and um, show us long opportunities. So we want to be dynamic, ready to change. But as of right now, we are looking towards bearishness. New Zealand dollar, as you guys can see, this week was a very indecisive week. Spinning top, this little green candle, if you can see it down here. Um, it's right on this 65 support level here, and we had a spinning top, so a little bit of indecision. Looking at the weekly, I mean on the daily, you can see price began to push lower and then quickly reverse back up. 66 is now acting as resistance, so we could see this reject and continue to sell off. Technical analysis, everything technically saying we want to be watching to the downside for this pair as we are in a downtrend and continuing to set lower lows. So uh, watching for shorts on this pair, just waiting for the right time. Don't want to chase it. Don't want to force anything. Just want to wait for setups to come to us and wait for the right opportunity. Alrighty, so switching over now to the S&P 500. Did what we expected as well here. Pulled back down last week to this, um, these all-time highs resistance, now support. Price hit it, and what did it do? It bounced, and we're now back up to retesting the highs. So uh, back to bullishness in the U.S. equity markets, stock markets in the U.S. We are back to a bear, a bull market after this slight pullback just for like a week. Um, so we want to be watching for these highs to get broken. This is a very big uh, influencer of the risk-on, risk-off theme in the currency markets. The risk haven currencies like the yen and the Swiss franc typically underperform when this market is doing better and then you have things like the aussie new zealand and cad which are the higher growth currencies that typically overperform when these markets are doing good so those are positively correlated and the yen swiss franc are negatively correlated to this chart we're looking at here of the s p 500. moving over to gold as you guys can see we broke lower pull back up to retest it and now have double topped off of this resistance off of this 50 SMA now too, getting that bearish rejection off there. So this is still valid for shorts. I still do like it for shorts. Stops up above 115 here. Uh, 
Gold does look like it does have more potential to go to the downside still. U.S. oil, another one that's double topping here off of the $70 a barrel mark. Tried to push up and break it last week. Failed. Bearishness pushed it lower. This week again, tried to push up above it. Failed. Shooting star candle. Bearish engulfing candle off it. Now we have spinning top doji. Moving averages are crisscrossing like crazy. We don't have any strong trends. Don't have any too clear a price action except for the fact that this resistance is holding. It held for two stops in a row. A little bit of a double top. So we could look for a potential sell-off here in oil in the coming weeks. Switching over to our U.S. dollar major crosses. We've got the euro dollar here up first, respecting this trend line again, respecting prior resistance with a little bit of a double top action here off of 117. We are above this weekly level now. This weekly support did hold this week. Price did bounce up off of it. Um, so it held once again this very significant level. And again, this is one of those pairs where it is somewhat range bound. We do want more clear direction. The 20 did just cross above the 50 SMA. If this price does something like this, this is a setup I'd be looking for. Breaks this trend line, breaks up above this resistance, pulls back. This could be a good opportunity to get long and catch that trend changing impulse leg there. As we are um, looking like we could be reversing this trend. We broke out of the first trend line here a couple weeks ago, pulled back to retest it. Now retesting this one. This could be a break up above and we could see the euro continue to strengthen while the dollar weakens. Pound dollar, another one that's reversed. As you can see, this trend line's broken. 50 SMA is broken. Structure here, we set a lower low, then a lower high. So this is the lower high structure. Price came down a little lower and then has now broken. So this is a new higher high now, right? Market structure's been broken. We had a lower high, was tested. Price came back to test it and broke through. Now we set a higher high. Structure's broken, trend line's broken, moving average is broken. This is a trend changing move. So now what we want to look for is a pullback Look for opportunities to get in long at the right price and the right moment. And then look for buy opportunities to try to catch this new wave of this trade long. Dollar, Canadian dollar. Uh, we did catch a nice trade off of this short here this week in the signal room off of the Canadian dollar news. Um, however, we broke out of this bullish flag pennant pattern. Price sold off and came right back into the pattern. We're on strong support here, but we are back into the pattern. Uh, no clear direction, no clear trend, so no clear setups right now for this pair. Um, but, you know, it's on our radar. It's a dollar CAD, so we do want to watch it. We do want to see what's going on with it, but nothing really jumping out yet for trades. Dollar yen broke above a significant resistance level. We're now trading up at above 112. As you can see, looking left, all through this area has held as resistance. Price has bounced off at every time price has come back up. So as you can see now, price has broken and closed above it. And Friday, we have a little bit of indecision. You know, the small body candle, small wick candle, not much movement. Um, however, we are up above this level. So we will be looking for longs in the dollar yen. This is another one where we could be looking for something similar. We could be looking for maybe a little more of a push to start the week, pulls back midweek, and then maybe we get that long next week, later on in the week, to try to catch this dollar yen long. Dollar Swiss trade we took here um, in the signal room. Pulled back up to retest this structure after this slower low. Pulled back to retest it. Demand zone, structure, resistance. Um, hit it and broke lower and pushed all the way down to our take profit too. So a full take profit two hit here. Price retested this lower low. We could be setting another lower low this week if we are able to break this support. And it looks like price action is showing. We do have a decent chance of that happening. Aussie dollar continues to move lower, broke to set a lower low, pulled back to retest. Now we're getting a bearish engulfing close off of this 72 strong resistance level. Um, was support, support turn resistance in a downtrend, still looking for short opportunities. There's no reason not to be. Um, so this is another pair we'll be looking for short opportunities moving forward. New Zealand dollar, again, similar story. You know, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. We're on weekly support, so we do want to be weary of that. Looking left, this is a strong weekly zone, so we want to be careful of that. But the trend line's still intact. Moving averages are here. Slope in the right direction. Space the right direction. Ordered the right direction. We got those 20 below the 50, below the 200, all sloping downward. Nice spacing. Uh, beautiful technical downtrend. Now we just want to wait for the right opportunities to go short. This isn't the right opportunity for me. Not enough risk to reward, in my opinion, um, as the target would be down here at this weekly level. So we're going to have to wait and see. Maybe we get a bounce and then short it, or maybe we get a break again below this weekly and wait for it to pull back. All in all, though, New Zealand dollar, U.S. dollar is at a pretty strong level right now, so we want to keep an eye on what happens. New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen, another trade we took this week that hit our target one. Um, broke out here, hit target one, 200 SMA in the four hour here, and then started to pull back. So looks like our second position we're taking out here for a small gain, but... um. 
all in all, this double bottom did form, did end up forming pretty nicely here off of this weekly support, this bearish engulfing divergence, trend line broke, everything. So we got a nice big bounce here. Um, so we'll be keeping an eye on potentially now looking for short opportunities in this pair to come back down to this weekly level and potential, potentially continue this downtrend that price has been trading in. Aussie Japanese yen, another one in a nice downtrend. Uh, did break structure, break support, move lower, but then this week pulled back all the way. We were expecting a pullback across the board on Aussie pairs, really, if you guys remember last week. So um, this wasn't out of the ordinary, but now we want to be looking for those short opportunities again to get into this trend continuation, to get into this next move lower and see if we can catch it and ride the wave. As you guys can see, we're getting a little bit of a trend line touch there. Um, we did break up above this structure here, which is something I want to keep an eye on. Maybe wait till we break back below it to go short. But all in all, this is another pair we want to be keeping an eye on to the downside. Uh, Swiss franc Japanese yen. This is a, a long setup we're looking at. Did exactly as we anticipated this past week. Pulled back right into our first potential reversal zone, this gray box here. Pulled back, tapped it, and shot up. Uh, we didn't catch this trade here. Didn't have the ideal setup, but I was calling this was uh, one of the options this pair could take. Pulled back to this zone and bounced. Nice bounce. So what we're going to be waiting for now is the exact same thing. Price to pull back now off this high. Look for an opportunity to get long at discounted price and then take the next push higher. Pound Aussie. We were expecting to sell off after hitting this resistance up here. Price did sell off. We had a shooting star, a little bit of a evening um, evening star formation, and then we have price found this resistance that broke now as support, and it looks like it's continuing to push higher now. Taking to the smaller time frames, you can see uh, price pulled back, bounced, and now it's here. So I don't want to chase this. That this wasn't a good enough pullback setup for me, but it's definitely on my watch list to see where price goes from here and how we react to it. Pound New Zealand, pretty similar setup. We broke above a really significant resistance level, breaking out of nice patterns. We are now basing up here. If you take the smaller time frame, you can really see this consolidation. Take it even smaller, and you can really see it. So this is a great opportunity if you are a breakout trader. This is a very nice breakout potential. We had a strong parabolic bullish move. Price is now stalling, letting the moving averages catch up, consolidating, letting the buyers and sellers all uh, find equilibrium as we wait until a new winning holding position takes over, whether it be the bulls taking this breakout to the upside or the bears taking a reversal from this moving lower. All in all, this is a good opportunity to be looking for something in pound New Zealand. And if you like trading in the direction of the trend with breakout trades, this could be a great opportunity to look for longs as you can have a clear spot to potentially set maybe above this 2.0 break or maybe above this resistance break or maybe above the highest wick here. However you trade breakouts, this pair looks right before a breakout and a decent Set up to look for one if you use a nice catalyst like market sessions being the right session to trade or news event or something of that nature. Euro New Zealand dollar, pretty similar setup. Price has been moving higher. Um, one thing I want to note is when you see price moving higher in ways like this, where you've got small body candles, you got a bull candle, bear candle, bull candle, bear candle, small body candle, bull candle, bear candle, bull candle, bull candle, bear, bear. So this is a pretty, um, you know, indecisive uptrend like it's moving upwards but it's pretty slowly moving that way and it's small candles it's small moves and then you've got things like this move right and then you've got like this move you got this move you got this move this move so um these are moves i'm not too fond of when we have these stagnant uh slow moving small body candle that shows me a lack of momentum right this is strong momentum strong buying strong pushing Strong buying, strong pushing. Look at all those back-to-back -back green candles. Look at these large range candles, right? That's momentum. This is not momentum. This is the opposite. This is slowing down momentum. This is a lack of momentum, a lack of enthusiasm in the market. So this is telling me that price is potentially going to sell off from here, right? Price is potentially going to come back and correct on us. We uh, don't know exactly where or when, but we can be playing things like the trend line, the 50 SMA, and things like that to look for that right opportunity for, okay, you know what? Price looks like it's going to now sell off a little bit. Let me try to short this. Or if you're not a counter trend trader, you want to trade in the direction of the trade like I am, then you want to know this is happening and now wait for that correction, wait for price to sell off, and then find our next opportunity for buying. Find our next support where we think the trend is going to hold and continue, and that's where we want to look to enter our trades, which is where we would look around here in the 175, 174 range in here for that next opportunity to buy. That takes us to Euro Aussie, pretty similar setup, only this one broke out, pulled back, retested, looks like it might continue higher. Um, 
This one's a little bit of a parabolic move, a little bit of a, an overextended bull mark, bull push. Um, we could expect a pullback. Now this could easily be a strong trend, strong trending move, very little pullbacks before it continues. But I like looking for a little bit of a deeper pullback, a little more confirmation that you know buyers are looking at good pricing and good opportunity to get back in and uh, buy it from there. So um, although this this looks like it's broken resistance and now found it as support. There's not good enough risk to reward or reason for me to jump on this. So I'll be watching for more opportunities, just nothing right away. Aussie CAD, another similar story. Price has been selling off pretty strong, losing momentum down here with these indecision candles. So uh, we also hit a weekly level here using this, basing off this blue line. So um, although I am looking for shorts and if you go to the smaller time frame, you could find a nice opportunity to find it. You see, we've got this trend line broken. This could be a nice opportunity to short it, but what I don't like about this is the risk to reward. So my potential reward would be down here at the prior lower low, and my risk might be, if it breaks out there, to enter above this prior move. And look at that, that's not even a two to two to one risk to reward, so uh, just not the best risk to reward ratio for a trade like this, so I'm not gonna be looking to trade it, but right now at least. But if we get maybe a little more deep of a pullback or a basis here a little bit longer, maybe we can catch a breakout. Um, Either way, this is a strong trending pair, so we want to keep it on our radar, just we want to wait for the right time. We don't want to try chasing moves. We want to wait for the right time and set up for price to come to us. Similar here on Aussie Cat. Um, pretty similar setup here. So again, we want to not chase this as it's falling and catch this little tiny pullback, even though you could see, you see this, this could be a decent setup. Uh, maybe you caught the break below this resistant, this support caught it to down there, maybe at a tighter stop because it's a breakout down there, maybe your stop was there, and you could try to catch that trade at the downside. But again, not the best risk to reward, not the best opportunity. Um, I would like to see it either push higher, or maybe this is an inverted head and shoulders, and we get a little bit deeper of a pullback, comes back up to this trend line, now we look to short it. Uh, something of that nature. But all in all, don't want to chase price. Want price to give me good setups and find those perfect trades to only enter the markets for them. New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar, another pretty similar story. I want to see a little more of a bounce here this week. We'll see price pull back maybe up to this trend line here, up into this um, 86 level resistance here. Uh, look for it to maybe find some resistance and then try to catch a short opportunity there. So another strong trend that hasn't really given us a decent pullback yet that we want to wait for that pullback to then look to join the trend and try to catch that next move lower. All right, guys, so that covers the charts. Um, not too, too much going on this week. This past week was a decent trading week. Um, in the signal room here at CoreFX, we're having another stellar month. We're up over 800 pips already two weeks into September. Uh, we, up, we were up 1,150 pips in August. We're up 800-some pips here in September. So continuing to crush the trading. Um, just a little bit of a slower week coming up ahead trade opportunity-wise, but we'll be keeping an eye on some setups and, and seeing what's going on. But... Um, Thank you guys very much for tuning in this video. I really appreciate it. Anybody who's first time coming in to watch this, I really thank you. I hope you got enough out of this and enjoyed it. Everybody who's returning viewers, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you for the continued support. Thank you for uh, tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in next week's video.